Praise the Lamb of God, beloved. We're glad to be able to come to you in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Today I want to talk about the topic of Christianity and Islam. Many people speak about Islam as being a religion from God. And today Islam is spreading all over the world. I have listened to many debates between Christians and Islam and I have realized in all these particular debates they seem to neglect perhaps the greatest debate of all and it's not about the Bible or the Quran it's really about God. The greatest debate that we should be discussing is the debate between God according to the Bible and Ella according to the Quran. Are we dealing with two different gods? That's the debate. we must realize that the God of the Bible according to Genesis chapter 1 1 his name is Elohim the Hebrew means God in the plural in other words El refers to God in the name Elohim but HIM refers to plurality. The Word of God always states that God is plural. And we find that from the beginning right to the end. Our Bible always talks about the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. But the real issue is that the Quran and their God, Ella, does not have a son neither does he have a Holy Spirit so when we talk about God that's called Elohim or Yahweh Elohim or Jehovah he is not Ella of the Quran they're two different people you see God has a son and he has a Holy Spirit but Ella in the Quran has no son and no Holy Spirit and that's the real issue Ella is not God we must understand also another real issue that they seem to be neglecting in all of these debates is the issue of the blood of Jesus Christ and the covenant the New Testament was established upon the blood of the Lord Jesus Christ. The blood of the Lord Jesus Christ gave us this covenant written in his blood. Now in the Quran, we realize that they say Allah gave Muhammad a covenant. Well, we know that the God of the Bible cannot give another covenant after the New Testament. The reason why is because when God gave the Old Testament to Moses, it was established upon the blood of animals. In order for God to give a new covenant, he did so with something better than the blood of animals, and that's the blood of Jesus Christ. Now, in order for God to give another covenant, he would have to have something better than the blood of Jesus Christ. And the Quran is not established upon any blood. Without the blood, there's no forgiveness of sin. There is no covenant. So we realize that the character of God in the Bible is to establish a covenant based on the blood. But the Quran is a different God. It's their God, Ella a God that has no Son and no Holy Spirit. 
this is not God, the creator of heaven and earth. The Apostle Paul calls him in 2 Corinthians 4, verse number 3, the God of this world, referring to Satan. Now, Satan is a God, and he's been called by many different names. Baal, Baalim. They have called Satan by many names all throughout history. And so when people talk about Ella, they are not talking about the creator of heaven and earth. And that's the real issue. Again, the real issue is that the New Testament is established upon the blood of Jesus Christ, which is a covenant. But the Quran is established upon nothing, only words. So is Muhammad the greatest prophet of Allah? Yes. Jesus never served Allah. Jesus never knew Allah. Jesus was never a servant of Allah. He was a servant of Jehovah. That's the real issue. When we don't understand what the real debates are, we will argue about words and passages and the meanings of phrases, but we ignore the real issue. The real issue is that God has a Holy Spirit and a Son, but Ella does not. The real issue is that the New Testament is based upon the blood of Jesus Christ, and the Quran is based upon words. God cannot give another covenant unless he has something greater than the blood of Jesus Christ. For the covenant has been established by the blood of the Lord Jesus, who is sinless and spotless, never sinned. But the Quran is not established by any blood. So we must realize what the real argument and the real issues are. Let us be sure that we understand this debate. Otherwise, we'll strive about things to no profit, emptiness of vanities, words that do not convince nor persuade men in understanding who is the real God. Or, how can God that created heaven and earth establish a covenant based on the blood of Jesus Christ and then give another covenant without any blood. That's not possible. That's against the nature of God. So we must be very clear that Muhammad did not get a covenant from Jehovah. He did not get a covenant from Elohim, from Yahweh. He got a covenant from Allah. He did not receive his message we must understand this in all clarity from the creator of heaven and earth this is the real issue and why do we not understand the real debate why are we not fighting and defending the faith on the real issues concerning Ella and Jehovah which one is God our God of the Bible. Today he commands holiness. Today he commands in this new covenant based on the blood of Jesus, turn the other cheek and to love one another. He does not command murder. You are dealing with schizophrenia. Is God psychotic? Is God a schizophrenic? How can God give a different covenant to a man 600 years after Christ? Who said Jesus didn't even die on the cross? Well, if Muhammad called himself a prophet and saying Jesus did not die on the cross, I call myself a prophet and I say Muhammad didn't even exist to tell the people that. They created it. Now, I wasn't there in the days of Muhammad and I have no idea what he said or did. And neither was Muhammad there in the days of Christ, and he has no idea what Christ said or did. So let us deal with the real issues. The real issues. The debate between Christianity and Islam teaches us 
that our God commands holiness. And a man, according to the will of God, does not have three and five wives and ten wives at one time. God is not schizophrenic. He wouldn't give another covenant and then tell another man, well, my will now is to have four wives at one time. And if you want a fifth wife, you go out and murder a man, and then you get his wife. And if you want a sixth wife, you murder another man, and you get his wife, and then Ella's blessing you. Clearly, Ella is not Jehovah. Ella is not God. That's the real issue. That's the real debate. We are dealing with two different gods here. We are not dealing with one God. And when the Bible says the Lord our God is one God, one Lord, it refers to Jehovah. It refers to Yahweh. It refers to Elohim. It does not refer to Ella. Ella is not God, creator of heaven and earth. Ella is another God, which the Muslims serve, which Muhammad served, but Jesus did not serve. Let's be clear about the issues. These are the real issues in Christianity versus Islam. 